Welcome back. Four wins for the season. The same disastrous percentage as Carlton and another captain walking out the door. It has been a horrendous year for the Gold Coast Suns. But CEO Mark Evans has denied his club is irrelevant. Instead, guaranteeing footy fans the Suns will succeed where other franchises have failed. Well, Mark, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, how are you holding up? I'm oh, holding up really well. I guess um, I get to see everything unfold day by day and week by week and uh, there's plenty plenty to like. What's the biggest challenge? The biggest thing we have here is we're competing for the hearts and minds of people who one of, they're in one of two camps. They know very little about the game and we're trying to draw them to the game. Or they know something about the game and they've had a history with the game and previously their families will have barracked for a, a different club. So we don't mind the fact that we're selling football first and Gold Coast as part of that. The Suns have an enormous reach through school programs and junior football programs. And I think uh, it just needs a little bit of excitement on the field and it'll take off. Are you getting that feedback around the community? In part, you have to just tell it as it is. And we knew that parts of this year would be really difficult, but we made a lot of changes at the end of last year and brought in some great people a coach that is tremendous at building relationships, a coach that's bringing in a more modern game style, and we knew that some of that would take time. We also then said, oh, by the way, Stewie, you might have to play all around the world for the first 11 weeks and move out of your facility and do all those sorts of things, and, and could you develop some young kids and give them some game time too? So we knew it was going to be tough at various parts, but three weeks ago, I should remind people, we did knock off Sydney. <laughs> Has the criticism been fair or is it too harsh? You've come from Melbourne. Do you feel like there's a bit of an anti-Sun sentiment? I don't think people take a lot of time to think about what's going on here. If you are from Melbourne or Adelaide or Perth, your biggest focus is on your club and your club's chance of success. When you see a two and a half hour window on a weekend and some of the football hasn't been terrific for us, and if you see that, you can be very critical you don't have to invest the time to come and have a look. You've seen the facilities here. You've seen the stadium. And if I was to tell you that what's happening in community in Queensland, community football, add up every participant in South Australia, Northern Territory and Tasmania combined, and you still don't have the level of participation here in Queensland. So I know that with the right um, success from Brisbane Lions and Gold Coast Suns, this place will skyrocket. It's already growing at a great rate. Do you think from a playing point of view there's enough honesty? Because what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling is that there's not enough brutal honesty that you might get at a Hawthorne or under a Ross Lyon-led team. Is there enough of that going on? I saw it develop at Hawthorne. Alistair Clarkson came in and changed a lot about the game plan and the culture and the environment and the people. And I saw a leadership group that wasn't as full on in that area as you would like but I saw it develop and it started with Rishi Vandenberg he then passed the baton on to Sam Mitchell who passed the baton on to Luke Hodge and you see that grow and what we've got here is the opportunity to create that ourselves so we're very early in that journey and we've got some way to go. So fair to say you've got a wrong leadership wise so far you've had two captains now who have departed. I think there is a, an element where you can get the most senior players from the inside of a club and they can create this desire to stay and achieve something but at this stage we haven't been able to do that and uh, whether it's by Tom Lynch who comes up here as a, a young man and stays for a while and now looks at it and says with free agency I've got the opportunity to go somewhere else that might be successful quicker than here. We can't begrudge him for that. But from a leadership perspective, what we need to do is to get our most important and valuable leaders to lock in and drag this group somewhere. So you mentioned Tom Lynch, the meeting that's been spoken about with the players. How much of that is true to your knowledge? Well, there was a lot that was said there that was not quite right. But it was true that there was some discussion about Tom and what he should do over the next three weeks. Once you know that a player is, is likely to leave or wanting to leave, and he's doing rehab, it's not really possible for him to attend leadership meetings and game analysis meetings. And the discussion was more around that. Not about his rights to exercise free agency and nothing to do with that at all, but 
more about what the next three weeks looks like. So is there angst amongst the playing group? There was, some dis- there was some discussion around whether Tom should be in and around the main part of the program, and that's where it really seemed. What about Stephen May? He's contracted for next year. He's the current captain of the club. If he wants to leave, would you prefer to know now and make a move this year than finding out in 12 months' time? My preference is for Stephen to stay and to want to stay and to want to leave this club. And Those discussions, they don't need to come on quickly. They will happen post-season. Would you like to know now, though? Will he be the captain next year regardless? No, captaincy is a year-by-year thing in any case. In part, it's because... You want to know that the player group supports that captaincy decision. So those things will always be for the offices. Do you worry about the longevity of this club because other clubs in other leagues have not been successful here? I have zero fears about the future of Gold Coast Suns. When we get these cultural bits right and the environment right, with the right people, this place will skyrocket. Do you want a priority pick? I'd take 10 if they were <laughs> to, but uh, we haven't made that call as a club. Our football subcommittee will make that call and apply if we think that's the right thing to do. Thank you. I'll let you go. I know you've got a meeting to get to. I really appreciate you spending some time with us. Good luck. Thanks for coming to Queensland. More people should come and have a look around and see what we're doing here. Yes, a big job ahead for Mark Evans and the Gold Coast Sun. Stay with us on the mark. We've got more coming up next. Thank you.